The Sports Trust continues to enhance education through sport by supplying sporting kit, equipment and sports facilities to disadvantaged rural communities, including abled and disabled sport across all sporting codes in South Africa. We thank our Board of Trustees and partners who continue to provide the opportunity for all South Africans to participate in sport. For more information or if you want to partner with us, visit our website at www.thesportstrust.co.za. The Sports Trust, together with Sports and Recreation South Africa, were proud to officially unveil yet another multi-purpose sports court in Guguletu, one of the historic townships of the Western Cape. Um, today we're handing over the 28th sports court in the country, here in the township of Guguletu, um, on behalf of the Minister and the Department of Sports and Recreation, with whom the Sports Trust have that partnership. And we're just thrilled about the fact that we can be taking sport to the communities and making it more accessible to all. All the courts are working and all of them have become very accessible to not only the school kids that's playing on the surface but well, also the local sports council, the sports structures, the club structures within those communities are utilising the court. So we're very happy with the results that we've been getting because of the fact that more people are utilising them and they're maintenance free basically and you know 24-7 playtime at the end of the day. Oh, I'm very happy for the children and for the parents and the other schools also will participate in this field with them when it is friendly matches. The community also is involved, we call the community. They are having meetings at school. They will also be the ones who are looking after the field. The partnership that should be built is the community, including the school, so that they are the eyes and ears of the school. Um, we also appreciate in this democracy, the 20 years of democracy, that you would find schools are still, you know, the court are being delivered by the minister. Uh, now it is also incumbent upon the school to look after the facility as part of the investment that has been put in by the Sport and Recreation, uh, Sport and Recreation Department and Sports Trust. And uh, I think I would say it's a windfall for this part of the community to have such such a facility which will go a long way in ensuring that we are able to unearth more talent within the community and ensure that children have, have got something to do particularly after this after after coming back from school it will have a big impact to the learners because you don't have to walk a distance where you are going to play the, your, your football or your soccer. It will give them, a, you know, a, a, what to say, um, energy to do things and also to come to school to make sure that, you know, they play around. This is one of the manifestations of the good story to tell that is always mentioned by the president in this country. This is another good story to tell at local government. It's definitely going to make a huge difference and impact on development in terms of mentally and spiritually and physically for the young people around the school. And more than anything else, it excites me when I start to think that I was a child in this school and I spent four years of my life in this school. And here am I today having a privilege of having to say I'm one of those giving handover of this particular asset to the community. And the good thing about it, it the ministry said very clear that the school, this facility to be utilized by the community together with the school. And that is the partnership we've always been looking for. I believe that education is about developing the learner holistically. It's not only about the academics. I think we need a healthy body and a, and a, and a healthy brain in order to be able to function well in academics. And I think this facility will allow learners to become active. And, and when they're active, they will perform much better in, cl in the classroom. I'm feeling very ecstatic. I wasn't like expecting so much exposure of my school. It's just like it's a dream come true for me. I've been at the school for almost 10 years now. So it's a very, very happy moment for me. We never actually, we were playing in the sand. You know the sand that we used to make and you put our ball and, and uh, poles. And you played the, your netball there. So we never had, uh, it's a good achievement to a school. A million pitch, I mean, what else you want? It's a, it's a service delivery that has been made by the minister and also trust in our community. And we're so excited. The community is excited. We've got nothing much to say now. We are just looking forward to celebrate a little bit and play football and all that, you know. That's the spirit we're here, we're in now at the moment. At the school we play rugby and cricket. 
So, Mr. Mr. Posket is the coordinator of the cricket. So we will be able to to fulfil our dreams, especially the soccer players. So we will be able to do much more than we did before. I think now it also adds more impetus to school sport uh, programs and ensure that we, 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 we enrich talent that, that will be coming out of, out of this community. We would want to have good netball players that will go into the Western Province team, good soccer players eventually going into the national team, become Springboks. I think that would be a, a vision for many of the learners at this school. I expect when it comes the next World Cup five aside, the boys from this area must be part of that national team. And I'm sure we're going to produce a lot of boys here. Tennis players will be produced here. Netball players that will participate in the national team of South Africa will be produced here. And that is the dream. And I'm confident that the boys, you can see the quality of this uh, pitch. It's one of those second to none. Eh? And definitely, you're going to, you look at it, you can see we're going to produce some leaders here. I have no mistake. This area has got a history of excellent sport leaders that have been produced in this area and most of them are coming from here. Of course, I didn't spend much time in the sport. I was a boxer, but at amateur level. But anyway, I'm excited to see that my children and other people's children will benefit from this in the entire community. I'm excited. In around the country, in terms of the challenges that we face, obviously is that we want people to take ownership of the court and obviously make certain that they look after the facility and so forth and prevent vandalism of the sports facilities at the end of the day. So that is one of the challenges that remains within South Africa that we are able, we need to curb the vandalism of properties, especially our sports facilities. You know, kids are more to uh, look at the TVs and all that. But if there is a sport in that area that keeps them busy and take out of them in corners and play around, so it would be a good thing. That's why I always, my emphasis is says sport, it takes charge. More can be done to, to erect this type of, fit, of, of pitches in, in, in the various schools uh, because they are very much needed. Uh, and we hope that the teachers and the community will optimally use this type of facilities to, to, to their benefit. The Sports Trust, enhancing education through sport.